Next, a healthcare technology company Q Health receiving $481 million from the Department of Health and Human Services in collaboration with the Department of Defense to ramp up production of its rapid diagnostic test for coronavirus. The company plans to increase its production to 100,000 test kits per day by next March with the ultimate goal of providing 6 million tests to the federal government. Those tests were also used by the NBA in their bubble. Joining us right now is uh, Ayub Katak. He's uh, Q's health co-founder and CEO. Good morning to you. Uh, I want to talk about testing, the state of testing, and, and where we really are. Um, I just read it. You're not going to really have uh, testing at scale for your company until March. We're walking into this period. Dr. Scott Gottlieb has talked about uh, being a very difficult one already in the next two or three months. In terms of what you're seeing, not just in terms of your own production and ability to produce, but other people testing, where do you think we really are? And what, what does that marketplace look like over the next, say, six months? So I think that the, the testing team at the White House has done a good job of really ramping testing from, you know, nine months ago, there was almost none to you're seeing over a million a day uh, testing overall. So I think it's come a long way and there's, you know, different categories of tests from the, the laboratory tests to the rapid antigen tests. Um, and, you know, we're in that other category of, of fast molecular tests. So. I think things have really dramatically, um, you know, ramped up and improved over time, and and I and I see the need for testing as being a, a, a longer term um, situation. So the bets that you know Health and Human Services and DoD are making are to increase and 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 be cognizant of the fact that there will be testing, um, and we want to continue to increase the infrastructure around testing, um, so that we can have you know a protected domestic supply of very good uh, tests. Um, you know, our test is, is uh, very accurate and comparable to lab quality, and, and that, you know, that's an Im that's a important um, thing to, a capability to add to the armament. You, you, you just made a comment, though, about we're going to need testing a, a long time into the future. Obviously, there's a whole effort and hope that we're going to get to a point where we have vaccines at scale. Uh, some people are talking about that uh, in the second or third quarter of 2021 at scale. We'll see. Um, what do you look at in terms of testing post-vaccine, meaning do you believe that employers are going to be testing for the next year, two, three years? Um, when you go into a stadium, do you imagine there's going to be testing? If you go onto an airplane, do you imagine there's going to be testing? Or once the vaccine comes, that all this testing goes away? Uh, well, I think that most experts don't think that the vaccine will be a silver bullet. Um, it will obviously improve the situation, um, but, you know, it's important to not uh, entirely rely on one mode of defense against uh, COVID. You know, the, the virus has been a very tricky one over time, and to, to be able to have, um, you know, additional uh, weapons in the fight is, is a really important um, idea. And so I do think that testing will will be part of a, a very long tail of COVID um, with or without a vaccine. And I'm sure we'll have a vaccine, but most um, people do not think it's going to be like a sterilizing vaccine. And so you're going to need testing for a long time. So yeah, I do think that there will be testing widespread for organizations, including for sports venues, including for uh, flights, um, so I think that's going to be something that persists into the future for sure. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.